Here's an Excel tip that's super easy and it's going to save you a bunch of time. By the way, if you don't already know, I'm Dan Strong and I help you learn Excel, VBA, and automation strategies super fast so you can get a better paying job or promotion. So let's pretend that you get sent this list of jumbled up data. Everything looks fine row wise, but the problem is that you really want to have the ID first and then you want the first name here and then the last name here. All the columns are actually out of order. Well, did you know that you can actually sort by columns? So rather than inserting by right click and hitting the letter I, and then control X to cut and then clicking here to paste let's hit undo control Z control Z did you know you could actually just take the columns and sort them by columns let's select the current data range with control asterisk then in the data ribbon we're gonna go to sort but we're not gonna do the normal sort so normally they just ask you for which row that you want but we're gonna go to options and there's a hidden option in here that says that you can actually sort left to right. This is crazy. So now we're just gonna choose row one. But first, before we do that, let's get out of here. Let's create, now that we know that we can do that, let's go to insert and create the order that we want. So we might just do ABC, or we might say that ID is row one, and then we want first name to be row two, and then three here, for, and then email you know, could be four, and then app name could be five. That Those really don't matter. But I'm going to hit Control, Asterisk. I'm going to go to Data, and we're going to go ahead and sort this that special way. Sorting left to right, and then we'll just use row one, which has the one, two, three, four, and five. Watch the magic happen. Boom! Now we have the ID and first name, last name, email, and app name. If you want to resize all these, select everything and double click to auto fit. If you want to be even more effective than that, you should probably either record a macro or in our Ultimate Excel VBA course, we teach you how to automate things like this by creating macros from scratch off the top of your head and making it with a click of a button do that for you every single day that this report comes in. You can learn more at ExcelVBAisFun.com or if you want to get our all access membership pass, you can go to ExcelNinjaPro.com and get all of our courses at once. Follow me for more tips.